Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Nora. I'm gonna watch Vinan Saga season 1, episode 8. Today I'm gonna watch two episodes. I'm glad, even if I'm a little stressed by what is gonna happen, especially during this episode 8, meaning that I knew that at some point we would have that duel as clad, you know, against Tolfin. I knew it and it's logical with Tolfin, his desire of revenge, and no matter what, what happened to Thor's and all of that. So it's logical to have it at some point, but you saw it. At first I thought that Tolfin wouldn't stay with Asclad and his guys. So I thought that we would see him growing up, training, being an adult, you know, and then finding Asclad again to, to fight him. In fact, he stayed with them and he began to fight with them, for them and all. And now he asked again for that duel and Asclad said yes. Not right now because they had to escape from that situation from France. But it's gonna come, it's gonna come right now. With the rhythm of this anime, which is truly a surprise for me, I didn't think that it would evolve so fast but at the same time beginning it i didn't know that i just had two seasons to discover so now that i know that it seems a little more logical to evolve you know a little fast but that fast not a surprise still this kid is still a kid you know he's a teenager okay he fought a lot he killed a lot of people and he said it himself like he's tired of killing all of these guys waiting for the duel with Asclad like he was forced to kill them and we have this entire subject about who is the enemy and in fact no one is the enemy that's the main subject of this anime and since the beginning because Thor's that's one of the first things you know that he said to Tolfin no one is your enemy there is no real enemy Meaning by that, that it's just about people defending themselves, protecting the ones that they love, obeying to orders. And I think that Tolfin, growing up, is beginning to understand that, like he was forced to kill all of these people, to stay alive, to defend himself, to stay with Asclad and his guys who were attacking all of these people. And even more, he understood with that particular episode, you know, when that lady took care of him and all, that he can be the enemy of people like he was. And to understand that you can be the enemy of someone, that figure of the enemy, he, it's deep, you know, and it's so bad. But I think that Tolfin is beginning to understand that. To come back to what I was saying, normally we should have that dual Tolfin as clad during this episode. I don't want it. I don't want it because blame me. Maybe I'm wrong to appreciate as clad that much, but I really appreciate him, this character. I really love this character. I can say it. I love this character. His attitude and all like how he is, you know, his smile and some of his lines and his really weird way to respect us during this fight you know, that he had with him. is really weird way to respect also Tolfin when clearly he, <laughs> he didn't take care of that kid, not at all and all, but still I can see that he admires that rage, you know, that Tolfin can have, that desire of revenge, he can understand it also. And I love it and I really love Asclad, even if he's a pirate and with his guys, they are doing really bad stuff, they are stealing from everyone, they are killing everyone, they are also raping women and stuff like that. And I'm glad that this anime is not hiding that, you know, that fact that they are not making him, you know, just a pirate in the sense of, uh, you know, Jack Sparrow, just someone stealing from other people. No, no, pirates, all kind of pirates, they were doing that also during this period of time, so... 
et, et toi tu, tu te bloques dedans still I appreciate as a glad and I don't want him to fight with Tolfin because we know that if they are fighting no not if when they're gonna fight one of them is gonna die we're following Tolfin's journey you know so I'm like okay that's it as glad is gonna die I don't want it so I'm stressed by this episode, by this duel that we're gonna have into it, I think. And by Asclad surely dying. Before dying, he needs to talk with Tolfin. Tolfin at least needs to, to understand, to say that he understood that Floki was the one saying, ordering to Asclad to kill Thor's, that things are more complicated, that Okay, Asclad can be considered as your enemy, but in fact, your main enemy is more Floki, and maybe Floki had also his reasons to do that, you know. And again, that's one of the main things of this anime to say that people they have reasons to act in a certain way, even if it's something bad for you. In fact, in their universe, in their way of seeing stuff, it's something great. Like for example, Tarfin, it can be for his way of seeing stuff, like. Thor's, he ran away, he was a coward, that's not the honorable way to, to be a Viking. Maybe it's something more personal, that's my theory. Maybe it's just about obeying to others also, maybe the king told him to do so, like... Floki, I don't want to consider him as the main villain, neither, do you understand? Because this anime is about that. No one is the main villain. People, they have reasons to act. And you know, I think that the last time that we had this conversation, you and me, for these videos on my channel, it was a lot for Attack on Titan and the end of it. The fact that at some point, <laughs> no one is all white or all black. People did bad stuff like good stuff. And when they did bad stuff, it was with good intentions still. And at some point, everyone suffered. Everyone killed someone else so you have to no one is the enemy you know at the end and i'm making that parallel because i think that it's a good one also for Tolfin and eren to have kids like that who are beginning the story with that desire of revenge because someone that they loved one of their parents died in an awful way and because of that, they have that strength, that rage, that desire of revenge and they're gonna follow it blindly. And maybe at some point they're gonna understand the truth about life, about what I just said, about the fact that no one is the enemy. I'm beginning to see a parallel between these two animes. We'll see if I'm right or wrong about that. And I'm gonna see that right now because I'm gonna watch two episodes today. That's gonna be cool. This episode might be really stressful for me, we'll see. If you want, on my Patreon, you have four episodes of advance for Vinland Saga. It's really a lot, it means two weeks of advance. I put already a lot of full reaction part videos for Vinland Saga. Since the episode four, you know, I have the impression that I put only four reaction part videos because it's big episodes, like each time big things are happening in it and all like, I mean, in, to them. Maybe it's gonna be the case for all of my binge watching, you know, I'm gonna put a lot of four action parts. No, no, what? Extended reaction parts are more interesting because I'm letting the scene go, you know, I'm not forced to get that much and I'm not playing with opacity. And it's the best way to support me, to help me with my channel, to follow me on my Patreon. So if you want and if you can, it can be truly appreciated. It's five euros to have all of the extended reaction part and to have access to the extended and the full reaction part it's 10 euros for the month and you have access to all of the videos that i'm gonna post during the month and all of the videos that i posted before that let's go for this episode let's go to say goodbye to asklad no no <sighs> Is it your village, guys? Like, you're from this village at the beginning? Uh, okay, you're dreaming of being a pirate. 
when Harry, for example, was dreaming of being a soldier. You don't want to mess with someone who has that look. She seems young and for sure she seems troubled. She's a slave. You used him long enough, you know, as one of your fighters, as a scout and all. The teenager for me? I'm not gonna kill you and you're gonna be my slave, uh, you're gonna stay with us. You can see that he is better than before or like that. That's not respectful. But maybe it's your way to tell him about Floki? It was the arrows, everything you gave the order during that moment. But someone else gave you that order. We don't need to see it again, uh, the Boromir situation. Beyond the pure stage. That was predictable, and he used that against you. Your rage is making you. You need to control yourself more. You just broke his arm? Don't act like that, like it was nothing. It was something even for you. But I'm glad none of them killed the other one. And yes, Torfin, he needs to train again. I'm glad. He's good. It's not the honorable way to do it, so yes, he's never gonna do it. Yes, 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 yes. Also, 
Dolphin is a slave of his desire of revenge. You're a slave of money, asked Lad in a way. That's the main subject of this anime. I talked about it in intro. No one is the enemy. Everyone has a reason to act. She wanted to give you things. I was gonna say you'll be better inside, girl. Uh, to be warmer, but in fact, no. In a way, yes. Don't judge her like that. What is a slave? You know, someone who was taken away far from his or her place, who is used by people? You're a slave, Tolfin. Remember that slave who was just dreaming of a peaceful place? Not telling her the same story to bring her peace and up. Oh, that is gonna make me cry. Those I was already like that. that you understood that, that she needed that. Are we gonna finally see your face, you? Why is it such a mystery, you know? Your The animation right there was so great! <gasps> oh. I was glad he don't die, the two all I found, but no one died. Yes, I'm glad. Because really, with the rhythm of this anime, I was like, that's it. The duel is gonna happen during this episode. Asclad is gonna die during this episode. Other things are gonna happen after that. Like, really, I didn't think that I would be that lucky that no one would die during this episode. 
Again, I was so surprised by the rhythm of the first episode with Thor's dying during the episode 4 and then Tolfin growing up during the next episodes so quickly that uh, I'm really surprised that right there, okay, we had the duel, but no one died at the end. Because Tolfin is still a teenager, he's not trained enough for sure, he's not strong enough, he's not old enough, and also Asclad understood that by making him mad, angry, the kid would go really crazy, would lose himself, you know, like would lose control of himself, of his emotions and would just go blindly into the fight without thinking and because of that it would be easy to, to win against him. Asclad really understood that about Tolfin that his pride is really something bad and that he doesn't know how to control himself and it's not okay. But he saw also that the kid is stronger than before, is really great, really agile, you know, like he can move fast. I think that he saw it before with all of the fights that they had against people and all. But right there he really saw it. Like Bjorn and all of the other ones, the other pirates, like how they are talking about him, it's a little different than at the beginning. I'm still not sure that they care about him, you know, they are paying attention to him, they are considering him, they are helping him, like they are feeding him and stuff like that. I'm still not sure of it. But in their own weird way, all of them, you know, as clad, like his guys, are keeping an eye on the kid and are admiring, you know, the fact that he's so stubborn and that he's not giving up, he's still there. They can appreciate that and see as Clad how we talked about Tolfin, he said since the beginning he's not a slave, he's a warrior, you know, and no, he's not gonna kill someone during his sleep, it's not like that. But at the same time, what Asclad said, and also what the slave said, I can't remember her name. Yes, in a way, Tolfin is a slave. Like, how do you define a slave? Someone who is far from his or place, someone who was taken away by people, someone who is used by people? Okay, Tolfin, like, you're not letting them touch you, hurt you, even if in a way like they could have done it when you were kids and by not considering you, not feeding you, they hurt you. And right there with this duel, uh, you could have died and all like... No matter what, in a way, you're a slave. And the fact that you're judging that girl like that, I didn't appreciate it at all. Because you're not judging people like that. Even more a slave. And you can see that she's not respected and that her place is not great and also it was not great to talk uh, that to her but I appreciated that after a little moment you know he remembered that slave that his dad helped save you know tried to save and the fact that this girl like the first slave that was just dreaming of another land you know in which they could be happy and that girl was losing up like this guy was losing up death coming you know like he was like okay i'm never gonna be reunited with my family and seeing that understanding that Tolfin chose to do the same thing then his father did to give peace and hope to that girl telling her that tale about Finland saga a place where everyone can be free and okay and in a good environment. I appreciated that moment. Just before that, to have Thor's appearing to Tolfin and to have Tolfin as that little kid, I almost had some tears but they really had me more with Tolfin being like that because I felt proud of Tolfin, you know. But before that, I almost had some tears because for Thor's to appear to Tolfin, it really means that for him having this revenge, it's the only thing that he wants. And right there to see his dad, 
And to have him being back at being that kid, it really means that he's still that kid. And I was gonna say deep inside, but in fact not that much for the level of his maturity, like he's not mature, like he's not an adult, like okay he grew up a lot physically but mentally he's beginning to understand stuff, you know, about the fact that he can be the enemy of people about the fact that he killed a lot of people and all but emotionally he's still a kid like emotionally he just wants his revenge that's the only thing which is important for him right there he was feeling sorry and sad that he didn't have it and he was seeing his dad because of that and that's why also he lost his fight against Asklad, you know because emotionally he didn't take any maturity he didn't grow up at all but it made me so sad to see that in fact he's still that kid and that kid crying, that kid who lost his dad, his mentor, his hero. It made me sad for him. So now, Dolphin, you're gonna be forced to stay with Asclad like you lost this duel. For sure you're taking it badly, you're upset. You're gonna be forced to stay with them. So it means that you are right there, you know, at this place, this fight. Now that that's it. You took some time to rest and to, to gather a lot of people at the same place and now you're attacking London. With Knut and his men, Ragnar and his men. I'm wondering why are we not seeing the face of that king? Right there, Knut, why we didn't see his face? I didn't forget, you know, that Elga, it's Elga, <laughs> I'm sorry, Thorfinn's mom, it's Elga, right? She's the daughter of the leader of the army, at least during that period of time when Thor was a soldier. I didn't forget about it because I'm still waiting to see at some point her dad or someone else related to her. Like right there, for example, Knut, the fact that he had blue eyes and the fact that he was blonde, I was like, maybe it's our brother? <laughs> I don't know. The fact that this slave, also this girl, she's the daughter of a Viking. No, not a Viking. Someone from Norway, someone important from Norway. Maybe it can be useful at some point. We're gonna have more of it at some point. The fact that she's young, the fact that before that she was someone noble, you know, the fact that she had that little moment with Tolfin, it's making me think that we're gonna see her again. It was not just for one episode, one little scene. Asclad and his guys, they have a village, you know, a place where they are coming back, where they feel at home. That's a surprise for me, you know, that pirates can have a place like that. And also that some people can dream of joining pirates like that and that they are respecting him, they are considering them honorable and all. For soldiers, you know, like for Harry who wants to be a soldier, I can understand it, but for these young guys, the fact that they want to be pirates, when we know what pirates are doing, it's not honorable, you know, and they are doing awful stuff, so that's, that was more a surprise for me. Okay, I need to stop this review. I'm gonna watch right now one more episode of Villain Saga, it's all for you for this video. If you want the reaction videos of my four next episodes, you can already have them on my Patreon. No matter what, it's all for you for this video and it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.